Also tonight, a 26-year-old woman has been arrested for murder after a 68-year-old man was found dead inside of his New Albany home. The victim's family fears he tried to help the wrong person. WLKY's Jamie Mays live outside that victim's home. Jamie, what have you learned so far? Jennifer, Rick, we spoke to several neighbors who described the man who lived here as generous and always willing to help those in need. Family says when they found out he'd been killed, they were horrified and shocked. I, I just couldn't get a grip or anything why somebody would kill him because he, he was good hearted and he knew a lot of people. Michael Reed says his brother Gary Reed had a big heart and was loved by those who knew him. Now his family wants to know why he was killed inside his New Albany home. I mean, I can't comprehend a person doing that to somebody and I don't know why they would do that. Police discovered the 68-year-old's body after doing a welfare check at his home on 11th Street Tuesday night. They were directed there after speaking to a woman considered possibly suicidal outside the mire on Allison Lane. That woman, 26-year-old Terza Linson, was arrested for murder and is behind bars at the Floyd County Jail. Rocky Reed, Gary's other sibling, says while he and his brother lived in the same home, He'd never seen Linson and doesn't know why anyone would kill Gary. It was wrong and dirty of wrongness. Whatever happened, I still don't know the answer to it. But his brothers say because of Gary's kindness and generosity, the cause of his death has been even more difficult to understand. He would help anybody. Uh, you know, he didn't care who he was or, or what happened, you know. And as they deal with this devastating tragedy, his family says they will continue to push for justice. I will be there through everything, through every court date, everything. I'm going to be there for my brother, Gary Reed. Indiana State Police says they're continuing to investigate. Reporting live, I'm Jamie Mays, WLKY News. All right, thanks, Jamie.